In this video, you will learn how to solve this United States Olympiad math question. We have to find the value of y in square root of y plus the negative square root of y equal to 4. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified uh, Olympiad math solution. Now let's get started. To solve this question, the first thing that should come to our mind is to take the negative square root of y to the right hand side. Now the reason why we are doing that is so as to make the right hand side uh, a perfect uh, square uh, so as to use the algebraic formula. Now let's look at how we can do that. If we do that, we are going to have this equation to now become the square root of y, right? And that will be equal to 4 minus the negative square root of what? y. So we subtracted the negative square root of y from the both sides. So if we do that, we are going to simplify this to become uh, what we have seen. So what we are going to do in order to find the value of y from the left hand side is to take the square of both sides. So if we take the square of both sides, definitely the square will have to clear the square root and this will be equal to the square of 4 minus the square root of negative y, all words, all squared. Now do you see what we have on the right hand side? The left hand side, the square will clear the square root and will be left with what y equal to 4 minus the square root of negative y or what square. So from this expression now you can see that we can simply apply the law algebraic formula. Now for apply the algebraic formula, I want you to recall this algebraic formula. From the right hand side, you're going to see that if we have our a minus b all squared this can be equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? And in this instance, our a is equal to 4, while our b is equal to negative square root of y. So we have this as negative square root of y. If we have this as negative square root of y, so that means that expression 4 minus the square root of negative y can be equal to, remember this will be 4 square, right? Plus this is going to give us the square root of negative y, right, square. And this is going to give us negative 2 multiplied by 4, which is a, multiplied by the square root of negative y. Great. So if we simplify the value of this square, right, it's supposed to be squared. This is going to be 16. Why this square cancels or clears the square root, we're going to have this to become negative y, right? Why this is going to become negative 8? multiply by negative y. Now if we bring this y down, this will be what? y equal to that. Great. So remember we are finding, looking forward to finding the value of y. So as to actually find the value of y, what we simply need to do here is to add y to both sides. If we add y to both sides, we are having the mind of clearing y from the right hand side. So the left hand side will give us 2y, right? And this will be equal to 16 minus 8 multiplied by the square root of negative y. Because this will definitely clear what this Great. Now what do we do from here? We already have an expression such that, such as the one we have. What do we think we can do from here? To actually find the value of y, what I'm going to do is 
to subtract 16 from both sides. So if I subtract 16 from both sides, I'm going to have here negative 16, and then I'll have here minus 16. This will clear what? This 16, and the left-hand side will be left with what? 2y minus 16, and this will be equal to negative 8 multiplied by the square root of what? y. Now I'm going to clear the square of y from the right hand side, the square root of negative y from the right hand side. So if I want to clear the square root from the right hand side, I will simply have to square the both sides. So if I square the both sides, I will have 2y minus 16 all squared to be equal to negative 8 multiplied by the square of y and this will be all words squared. From this expression, you come to see that this square is going to clear this square root. And what we'll be left with on the right hand side is going to be negative 8, right, squared, multiplied by negative y, right? And on this side, we're going to still have 2y minus 16 or squared. Now remember that algebraic formula we dealt with earlier on. This algebraic formula which we have here, we're going to apply it in expanding 2y minus 16. Now if we apply the algebraic formula in expanding 2y minus 16, that is going to give us, remember, our a is going to be 2y. So we're going to have 2y all squared, right? And that will be minus 2 multiplied by 2y, right? Which is a multiplied by 16. And this will be plus b squared, which is 16 what squared. And this will be equal to, now recall that if you have negative 8 all squared, this can be equal to negative 8 multiplied by negative 8, right? And that will be what? That will be 60 what? 64. Great. So if we have that, we're going to have this to become 64 multiplied by negative y is going to give us negative 64 what? y. So that full expression is going to give us 2y square is going to give us 4y square because 2 square is going to give us 4. 4y square minus this is going to give us uh, 2y times 2y square that is going to give us uh, 4y multiplied by 16 that will give us 64y right and this will be plus 16 square and this will be equal to negative 64y. Great. So what we need to do here is to simply look for a way to clear 64 from both sides. Now to clear that 64 from both sides, we are going to add 64y, 64y to both sides. So for add 64y to both sides, you'll find out that the right hand side is going to give us zero, right? The right hand side is going to give us zero, while the left hand side is going to give us 4y square plus 16 what? 16 square. And 16 square is going to be equal to the value of 16 square is 256, right? And this will be equal to zero. So we'll have 4y square plus 256 equal to 0. Now let's subtract 256 from both sides. We'll have 4y square equal to negative 256. Great. Now what we are going to do is to divide both sides by 4. If we divide both sides by 4, we'll be on our way to finding the value of 1. So the value of y is going to give us y square 
equal to this is going to give us negative 64. Now to find the value of y, we're going to take the square root of both sides. If we take the square root of both sides, we are going to have the square root of y all square to be equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 64. The square root of negative 64 is going to give us because square will clear the square root and then we'll have our y to be equal to this is going to give us plus or minus the square root of 64 multiplied by the square root of negative 1. And recall from complex number, the square root of negative 1 is equal to our imaginary. So we are going to have the value of our y to be equal to, our y will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 64 is 8 what imaginary. So the value of y is going to be 8 imaginary or we'll have it as negative 8 what imaginary. These are the two values of y. They are imaginary solutions that satisfies that equation that is given to us up there. Now there is no real solution to this expression. We only have or what we only have an imaginary solution to this uh, Olympiad mass question that's given to us up here. I know you did enjoy watching this mass solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now.